Pathological breathing patterns. Kusmal respirations. Kusmal respirations are associated with diabetic ketoacidosis. In with diabetic ketoacidosis, the body is in a state of elevated anion gap metabolic acidosis. As an innate response, respiratory compensation via Kussmaul respirations occurs in these patients. Kussmaul respirations consist of rapid, deep breathing at a consistent pace that attempts to balance the acidotic state by breathing off carbon dioxide. <sighs> Kussmaul respirations are occasionally described as air hunger, emphasizing the strong need to breathe. Kussmaul respirations may also result from renal tubular acidosis, when the kidneys are unable to excrete acid properly and subsequently cause an accumulation of acid in the blood. Other causes of Kussmaul respirations include cancer, toxins in the body, alcohol misuse, sepsis, and failure of certain organs, heart, kidney, liver. Chain Stokes Respirations Chain Stokes ventilation is another abnormality of breathing that is characterized by varying tidal volume and ventilatory frequency. After a period of apnea, tidal volume and respiratory frequency increase progressively over several breaths, and then they progressively decrease until apnea recurs. <laughs> This irregular breathing pattern is seen in some individuals with central nervous system diseases, head trauma, and increased intracranial pressure. The mechanism underlying chain Stokes respiration is not known. In some individuals, it appears to be due to low cardiac output states, CHF, with compromised cerebral perfusion. Bio's breathing. Bio's breathing, also called ataxic breathing, is an irregular breathing pattern with increasing episodes of apnea. It's similar to chain Stokes respiration, but tidal volume is constant, except during apneic periods. Short episodes of rapid deep inspirations followed by 10 to 30 second apneic period. It's most often associated with injuries to the medulla. Cluster breathing. Cluster breathing is when rapid respirations of near equal depth are followed by a period of apnea, meaning no breathing. Central neurogenic hyperventilation. It's characterized by persistent hyperventilation, may be caused by head trauma, severe brain hypoxia, or lack of cerebral perfusion. Caused due to midbrain and upper pons damage. Central neurogenic hypoventilation. Medulla respiratory centers are not responding to appropriate stimuli, associated with head trauma, cerebral hypoxia, and narcotic suppression. <laughs>